Aries, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, or Tony, here with another tarot card reading for you today. Make sure you come in, like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we can continue to grow, allow the message to spread. It's been a while since I did some tarot, man. Uh, I've been on kind of a hiatus after doing the, uh, the mediumship about a week ago. I guess it does drain a lot of energy. Um, but I do have some channel messages for you guys. My Claire audience has been going crazy. I guess my super senses. If you've never watched the movie Senseless, I recommend you watch it. But Aries, your channel message is to show and prove. Show up and prove. So I'm guessing there's something that you needed to start or something that you needed to continue or finish up here. Again, proof or prove, similar words. Um, I myself, I watched a one hour tarot documentary on the start of tarot last night. It has no changing or bearing on my idea of tarot or how I read cards, but it's just the fact that I haven't been reading cards in over a week, but yet I'm watching something. Although I cut out tarot for a week, I'm watching documentaries about tarot. So instead of watching Aries, the sign, the firstborn, the firstborn, the sign of action and leadership, it's time to get to work. So that's my channel message for you uh, today, Aries. Let's get into your message. Grounding you today using the Light Seer's Tarot. We have, yep, the Eight of Wands. Action. Your energy is building up. There's about to be a, a physical release of energy, like a big burst of power or a display of power of some sorts. There's a lot of action going on. This is typically my card of sex or wrestling or a lot of action. Uh, more or less not fighting, not conflict as in the five of wands, but more of, uh, again, eights are a very powerful number. Uh, turn it sideways, it's the symbol for infinity. It's one of the most powerful alchemic symbols, you know, transmutation. So with it being eight, there's a lot of great power here. I would say powerhouse with it being wands. Again, that's the physicality. You may be doing some traveling or again, you may be putting a lot of physical effort into something, maybe transforming a situation or transforming your body of some sorts yeah you're starting from somewhere you were putting in a work on and on something and it's time to uh finish up here now me myself um i've been going through a transformational period aries it's uh not too major it happens every so often it's a spiritual awakening or a kundalini awakening sometimes we have to change ourselves up new levels new devils but I've been eating so much over the past week, over the past two weeks. <laughs> I even have food in my house waiting on me now. So um, with Aries, Aries is actually my moon sign. So it has more to do with my feelings and uh, things like that. Um, so with that, with eating a lot, I'm not just picking out. I'm actually um, watching myself. You know, everything you put in your body transforms your body in the ways you think. Um, so I've been watching, uh, watching those things. Um, meat is a pretty big thing, of course. You know, Aries, uh, moon sign, feed the beast, and all these things. It's like I've been in kind of a void period, and I'm kind of like detoxing my body a little bit. So I have a big uh, whole chicken waiting to eat. But at the same time, I know I should be eating vegetables and detoxing at the same time. So I also have two cans of uh, pretty much the only two fruits that I eat, pineapples and peaches. Um, to go with that eating of the whole chicken. So uh, just take responsibility for the things uh, that you do and the actions and effort that you put uh, towards things that you want to prove, I guess, for the most part. But pulling your cards here, you have a nice, interesting spread so far. The first five, we have the lovers. So we have a romantic relationship coming in, some type of soulmate connection or partnership. We have both the king and the queen of cups. So that's your twin flame. That's your relationship. Or this could be you coming into union with yourself, mind, body, and spirit. Again, maintaining your um, your health, maintaining your body, maintaining your, um, your spirit, your physical features. Aries rules the face. Now, when it comes to emotions, again, speaking on my uh, moon sign, Aries, which is actually my north as well. Um, emotions, uh, I'm learning that emotions and expressing emotions are two different things. A person can be very emotional, but not express those emotions. Someone could be very expressive and not be emotional at all. So those are some things that we have to take into accountability when we are going out in the open or even when we're looking at ourselves and trying to maintain our own selves at the end of the day. We have both the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. 
definitely a love relationship coming in here for you. Could be dealing with a Gemini or a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio Aries. Um, I see baptism here. I see togetherness here. There's four of cups. You may not see this coming, but it's definitely coming towards you. We did see the eight of wands coming in and again, grounding the reading. I guess you're working on yourself. You have your head down at this point and you don't really see the love relationships or your psychic equals coming in here to uh, help you better yourself or to challenge you, help you upgrade. We do have the Ace of Wands, which brings in expression, which brings in passions, relationships, sex, creativity, and those types of things. Additional messages. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. We have death and rebirth here. Again, a transformational period. You could be working on something here. Maybe a project that you've been working on. Maybe your body, your spiritual habits, your mental stability, your emotional well-being. Five of Wands. Conflict coming in here. Could be a gym workout or again changing up your eating habits or your physicality. We have Knight of Cups. The love coming in here. Uh, twin flames seem to inspire each other. It's sort of like a muse. What else does um, what else inspires us? Love inspires us. When we know for a fact without a shadow of a doubt that we have uh, fans, that we have families and friends that love us, or we have that uh, that that love relationship or that connection that comes in that helps us give that give us that extra that extra added energy like a woman would wake up in the morning and provide uh, sustenance for a husband breakfast to go out and work for the rest of the day we have page of Pentacles could be um, an immature earth sign we're coming in here with finances again grounding um, this could look like a reckless situation here again we could be working on health here your final message Aries we have the world card experiencing growth Closing out old cycles, opening up new cycles. This could also be transformation as well. The world is major arcana for Sagittarius. So you could also be dealing with Sagittarius. Major arcana, the lovers, Gemini. We have Scorpio, death and rebirth. And we have the world, Sagittarius. So definitely a great transformational period coming in here for you. A love relationship, someone reaching out to you. Could be someone from your past. I'm not 100% sure. There is a message of strong love. There could, there could be competitiveness here going on as well. But this is for the love of some type of uh, twin flame or soul, soulmate union here. We have the lovers with the ace of wands. If it's not someone from your past, this is indeed uh, a new relationship. Or it could be someone from your past, four of wands, someone that was unstable, page of pentacles, coming in to affect the new relationship that you have coming in here. So that's all I have for you, Aries. Hopefully you enjoyed the reading. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. Catch you on the next one. Peace.